Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Friday. So today we are going to be putting a new foundation type product to the test. I'm pretty excited about this. It is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Perfector. This is a blurring skin tint with sunscreen. I was sent this from Influencer, so basically got this for free in exchange for giving my honest feedback and reviews online. Um, and I'm very excited to put it to the test, let you guys know what I think of it. I have worn this once before, so it's not like a complete first impression, but we're gonna like do this first impression style with a wear test. I'll be doing some check-ins and letting you guys know how this works for me and what it performs like over the course of a full day. But before we get into things, I do want to say hello and welcome to any of you who are new here to my channel. My name is Lauren. Thank you so much for coming, hanging out, chatting beauty with me today. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I hope you will click that subscribe button and come back for more of my videos in the future, especially if you like this one. Um, and yeah, without any further introductions, let's talk a little bit more about this guy right here. Got my Sephora app ready so I can give you guys all the deets. All right, so the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Perfector. So this is a revolutionary skin tint that blurs and enhances the look of skin for a perfected complexion. It's described as a sheer coverage product. It is good for, it says sensitive, normal, dry, and combination skin. I tend to have pretty oily skin. Sometimes in the winter it's more combination. Like right now we're on just like the cusp of that transition. It's not that warm yet so my skin is still in winter mode come like three four months from now i'm gonna be like full on grease ball so i'm very curious to see how this works for me with oily skin um since it's not really recommended for oily skin this does have spf 25 it uses ox octinoxate and titanium dioxide as the primary sunscreen ingredients which octinoxate i feel like i'm not a super i haven't heard like great things about it usually titanium dioxide which is a physical sunscreen is something i do use in many of my sun protection type products so we'll see how this works with my skin whether or not it causes me any kind of irritation or breakouts which is usually the issue i have with chemical sunscreens you get 30 mils of product or 1.01 fluid ounces this retails for 36 dollars and it is available in 10 different shades. Now I know that 10 is kind of a small number when it comes to base products. However, because of the nature of this product, because it's sort of like sheer to medium buildable coverage, it's supposed to have very flexible shade matching. So like each tint can be matched to like three or four different shades or like undertones. So I guess they're keeping the range smaller because each shade is supposed to work for a greater variety of people. So basically it looks like the vibe of this product, it's supposed to be very easy, fresh, hydrating, something you could apply with just your fingers. They also have a brush that they're selling to apply this product with, um, but it's basically supposed to be very breathable, supposed to be very natural looking for good for people who are like kind of getting ready on the go that don't want to sit for like 30 minutes blending out their foundation, want something a little bit faster, a little bit easier. And it's supposed to have this blurring technology. It's supposed to kind of make your skin look a little bit more flawless, a little bit more airbrushed without necessarily making your face look like a mask. I like that it's in a squeezy tube. I feel like this is a very convenient type of packaging. It's very straightforward. It's not the most like pretty girly and fun but i feel like it looks very professional it's very practical makeup forever to me feels like a makeup artist brand where you are purchasing products because you're going to be like using them on other people and you kind of don't need all the fuss and the frills you just want good makeup that you can throw into your kit so i get that sort of aesthetic and that sort of vibe i feel like this would be a really easy product to travel with throw in your bag um, and i'm sure you can get like every last drop out of this particular kind of tube so I dig the packaging, uh, price-wise, $36. I feel like it's a little up there, kind of normal for Makeup Forever and for other similarly priced brands. I feel like most other high-end foundations sold at Sephora are gonna be in the $30 to $45 range. So I don't think that this is unreasonably priced. Granted, it is a more sheer formula. So for the same amount, you could get like a more full coverage foundation. But for me, it's not necessarily like coverage level equals quality like it's really a matter of what do you want and how good is the product in terms of doing what it says it's going to do so i'm you know really curious right now i am wearing this product i am going to be scooching you guys a little bit closer in a second so we can do a demo i'm going to show you guys 
how I apply this foundation and kind of what it looks like before there's other makeup on top of it. And we're going to do a wear test, so I'm going to check back in with you guys later and let you know how this is looking. I will say, having worn this at least one other time before, and I did just apply it with my fingers, I did like it and I felt like it looked really nice. So. Definitely excited to see how today's wear test goes. Uh, and with all that being said, let me scoot you guys closer so we can put this foundation on. All right, so we're gonna start out by priming the skin. I'm gonna be using my Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer because I have been using this a lot lately and I have found that it's worked well under a number of different foundations. So I kind of want to give this one um, its best shot, use it the same way I would use all of my other bases so I am just going to spread this guy out on my skin all right so here is the product I have the shade 04 so I think what we'll do is we'll apply this half of my face with a sponge this half with a brush and we'll see if there is any difference in how they look now I know this is a sheer to medium coverage type product so I'm not expecting like my face to look completely blanked out with this. I'm kind of expecting my skin to look healthy, maybe the um, tone of my skin to be a little bit more even, but it should still look like skin. So I feel like one layer with the sponge, I do have a little bit less redness, but it's still very sheer coverage. So let's try one layer with a brush. And I'm gonna be using this IT Brushes for Ulta Radiant Foundation brush. It's just a kind of domed topped buffing brush. Typically speaking, I feel like you get more coverage with a brush than with a sponge because the sponge kind of picks up and shears out some of the product, but we'll see. The downside to a brush is sometimes you get brush strokes left behind, so always a trade-off. All right, so this is the brush side here. Um, it actually didn't get too streaky. Uh, it's nice, and I would say, again, the coverage on this is very light. It's a little bit glowy. I feel like my skin looks very radiant and very dewy right now. Uh, some of the redness that I had around my nose here does look minimized, and I would say, like, my skin looks very healthy. My skin looks um, like skin. It, it doesn't look like perfectly perfected, but it looks nicer than it did before. So I'm gonna try adding a second layer just to see how this builds up. Especially right in this region, I feel like I tend to need a little bit more product. I'm just gonna pat this like very gently. I'm not like going too ham. So there's a second layer. I feel like that did layer well. I'm not seeing that my skin is looking cakey at all. Um, I obviously still have visible redness and some marks, but again, this is not a full coverage product. It's not gonna cover all that up. Let's see what happens when I layer on the other side with a brush. Also, I apologize if my lighting is really wonky today. It's actually really nice and bright and sunny out, which is great because yesterday it was snowing, uh, but that means that like it's just a little inconsistent. I feel like one minute it's super bright and then the sun goes behind a cloud and then it's dark again, so I'm sorry guys. All right, so here's the second layer with the brush, and what I'm noticing is up in this region right here, I actually am looking dry. Um, it's like I'm seeing a little bit of flakiness up here, but I'm not seeing that at all on the sponge side. So maybe what I'll do is just kind of go back over this with the sponge. All right, so overall, what I will say is that I do feel like this does something. It does make your skin look a little bit healthier, a little bit more even, um, but it's still very natural. This would be great for a very like light makeup day, or if you're someone that likes wearing a little bit of makeup, but doesn't like their whole face, all their freckles, everything to be completely blanked out, you might actually really like this. If you have like a pimple or anything like that, you're probably gonna want to cover it with a concealer or something because this is not going to cover up blemishes or like imperfections that are a little bit more major in your skin. If your skin is relatively clear though, I feel like this is just a nice kind of, it's supposed to blur and I do feel like my skin looks pretty blurred out. Um, I also feel like the shade on this is really nice. Uh, I feel like I don't have like the line of demarcation where my uh, face is really different from my neck. Like I feel like this just kind of adjusted really nicely. It doesn't seem to be oxidizing or changing into any weird colors. So. 
I'm pretty pleased with this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and conceal and set with powder. So I'm going to be using the um, Maybelline Fit Me and I'm going to be using my Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder because these are things I use pretty much on the regular. So I want to see how they jive with this particular product. So I know since we ha know this has a little bit less coverage, I'm going to take more concealer just like kind of right here around my nose just to cover up a little bit of that area and I'm also going to bring this into my under eyes. Alright, so I've got my concealer on, I've powdered everything down. Obviously the powder has taken away all of the glow from this product, so my skin looks much more matte now. But my skin is also very oily, so I really like to set it down with a powder just to kind of keep that shine at bay. I think if you were someone that had dry skin, you could probably wear this product all by itself and keep that kind of luminous, dewy look if that was something that you were into. I personally just kind of like to control things from going from like glowy to like full on shine mode. So, uh, you know, I definitely always like to set it. So that's kind of a normal thing for me. So looking at my skin right now, I feel like it's actually looking really good. My pores look very blurred out. I don't feel like the texture is accentuated. I feel like my skin doesn't look completely like I'm wearing a mask. Like I can still see some of my imperfections through my skin a little bit, but they're definitely minimized. So I feel like this looks very healthy, but still natural. So I think if that's the vibe that you like, very fresh makeup, I think this will definitely give you those vibes. So I'm going to finish applying the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. I have all the rest of my makeup on. Uh, side note, if you are digging this eye makeup look, um, it will be coming in a tutorial to you soon. This is going to be part of my One Palette Three Ways series, so get excited for that. So I've had this guy on my face now for probably about a half an hour or so, and looking at my skin right now, I feel like um, my natural oils have kind of started to go through the powder a little bit, so it's not quite as dry looking. I feel like my skin looks really healthy. I feel like my skin looks really glowy. All of my other makeup went on really nicely on top of this product. I just, I really like it actually. I feel like my skin looks really good and I feel like this definitely would be perfect for someone who is looking for an easier, fresher, not as heavy looking base for their makeup. I mean, obviously the rest of my makeup right now is pretty full glam. I'm wearing the lashes and blush bronzer highlight the whole nine yards. Although I feel like even with a glam look, like this foundation doesn't look mismatched. Like sometimes if you're wearing a really sheer coverage foundation with really glam and makeup, it looks like not enough. I don't know. I kind of feel like you gotta go all the way, but this, this I'm not having that problem with. I feel like my skin just looks really nice. It looks very sort of dewy, perfected, looking pretty good. I feel like I'm having a little bit of redness right here on my chin that's not entirely covered up. Maybe what I'll do is I'll go in with like just like a tad, like a little dot of concealer right here just to kind of cover that little spot up. But other than that, I'm like really pleased. I feel like my makeup looks really nice today. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit and let you know how it's looking, how shiny I am getting, how quickly I need to blot this situation. That is the one thing I'm most afraid of is that this will get really shiny and I'll look really greasy after a few hours. Um, but yeah, I have a video to film and some other stuff to do, so I will be back to check in with you guys in a little bit. I also forgot to show you guys the time. It is like 1.30 right now, so we'll just use that as a point of reference when I check in later. Hey guys, I'm back. It is 5.46, if you can see that. I don't know, my camera is blowing out the screen on my phone, but it is about quarter to six, so I've had this makeup on for what, how long? 2.33, 3.4, like four hours-ish, maybe a little bit more than that. Uh, got some filming done. I am feeling really cranky with the internet right now because I've been trying to upload today's video all day and it keeps like freaking out. So hopefully Wednesday's video will be here at some point this afternoon. Anyway, I thought it would be a good time now to check in and show you guys how this foundation is looking. So I'm gonna have my little soft glam palette here. Look in the mirror inside of this. Uh, so this is what I see right now and I think you can kind of see on camera I am looking very shiny right now like I can see especially right in here I am I'm actually feeling it too like I feel 
my skin feels greasy like usually when my skin gets very oily it kind of like pools in this area and I can like feel the need to blot it which I haven't blotted I haven't powdered I haven't touched up anything at all um the actual foundation itself and the rest of my makeup I feel like looks good in the sense of like it's not breaking apart it's not caking up or doing anything weird I just look shiny af so i am going to blot this situation because it's just going to get infinitely worse if i don't and um, i'll let you see what it looks like a little bit touched up oil blotting sheets are seriously my best friend because when you have super oily skin i feel like powdering is nice but i don't really love layering and layering product on top of product i'd rather like actually soak the oil up off of my skin and then maybe add a little bit of powder on top. Now, to be fair to this product, my skin will get oily with literally just about everything. Nothing keeps me like completely matte. Some things are just better than others. I don't know if you guys can see or tell, but this is like completely soaked in oil because that's, that's how my face is. All right, so now that I've blotted, that actually looks way better and I feel like it didn't actually take away a ton of the coverage especially around my nose like I definitely have had some of this wear away but because it wasn't a full coverage foundation I feel like it's wearing way more gracefully there's not like a huge difference between like the areas that have more product and the areas that have worn away slightly it all kind of like phased together still looks pretty natural so yeah my blush bronzer highlight is still going very strong. My skin still overall looks pretty smooth and perfected. I just definitely, my pores over here are looking a little bit more pronounced. I think it's just because they've been spewing out oil all day. Yeah, that is about par for the course, but I feel like my makeup overall still looks decent. So we'll keep on wearing this. I will check back in with you guys a little bit later. I have more blog stuff to work on, so many things to do today. Anyway, it's 5.52 now since I've been rambling, so I will check back in with you guys in a couple of hours. And it is now 9.46 p.m. I am, I'm toast right now. I don't know what the heck my hair is doing over here. I took my lashes off because I was just kind of over it. I've been doing laundry, dishes, all that kind of exciting stuff, and I am very much ready to get in my pajamas and take off my makeup and just relax. But first, we need to do our final check-in and talk about my final thoughts on this foundation. So I'm gonna try to like bring you guys closer, maybe turn the lights down a little bit so we can look at my skin closer up. All right, so here's what we're looking at after eight full hours of wear. I just have my palette over here to use the mirror so I can check out what is happening on my face right now. Um, to be honest, I feel like, you know, my face makeup is not terrible after eight hours. Like my blush, bronzer, and highlight are still definitely on, still showing up. Um, but my skin does definitely look shiny. It doesn't look quite as shiny as it did at my first check-in when I blotted. I have not blotted or powdered or touched up or anything like that since then um so i definitely see like i am kind of shiny in the areas where i have larger pores which is like my forehead right around my nose and my chin um but the makeup is not like doing anything super crazy it doesn't look like it's like gathering or bunching up anywhere which is nice i definitely have seen it wear away around my nose because with my allergies i'm more likely to touch my nose i also feel like it's worn away a bit around my chin here um but overall i feel like it doesn't look like it's fading weirdly i mean i think there's like a little patch here that's kind of coming off i don't know if i was laying on something or touching my face so my final verdict well at least my first impression final verdict on this product uh i think that it's nice i definitely understand why they did not recommend it for oily skin because it is a very um, dewy sort of hydrating product that adds a lot of moisture to your skin so obviously I did have the issue of getting shiny throughout the day I did need to blot and probably could have powdered afterwards which I didn't do um, I so I think that there are things that I could do to keep this looking nice but it would require a bit more maintenance than some of my other foundations but I feel like you know the wear of it was nice it wore away gracefully it didn't like 
randomly patch off in like very obvious ways or fade or look cakey or weird. So I have a feeling that, especially for someone that's not as oily as me, this will look really nice for, you know, a long time. Like this could get you through a work day and have your makeup looking pretty decent. And I feel like this is very work appropriate makeup if you're somebody that wants their skin to look a little bit more polished, a little bit more put together, but not absolutely perfect. Like not mask face, everything completely blanked out. Like it's a foundation that still looks like skin, which I do appreciate. I think it's a very nice product. Um, I will probably continue to use this, especially for maybe like my lighter makeup days. Um, I just know that I'll have to keep powder with me or some blotting tissues with me so that I can kind of touch it up as it starts to get a little more dewy than I would like. If you've tried this product as well, I would love to hear what your thoughts are on it, especially if you have dry skin. Does this work for you? Do you like it? Let me know in the comments down below any feedback that you guys have. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video and like me doing these kind of try-on reviews, I know this is a first impression and obviously first impressions aren't everything, so I will definitely update you guys um, in one of my future videos and let you know what I'm thinking about this once I've used it more. But I think it is fun to do a first impression, to do a demo, to do a wear test, just to kind of see from the first time I use something, what the experience is like from start to finish. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful or useful in some way. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I always really appreciate that support. And again, if you're not subscribed to my channel and you want to stay in the loop for future updates and other videos and all that kind of good stuff, I hope you'll click that button. And as for me, I'm ready. I'm ready to take this makeup off. I'm ready to get in my pajamas. I'm ready to go to bed. I actually got to rotate some laundry. I still got some stuff I got to do, but Either way, the night is the night is winding down and I am ready to relax. So thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you're having an awesome Friday and I will see you in the next one. Bye.